Hi, this is Eileen from BasicBlogTips.com and this is a response to a question that came in from Bart Nash. Bart used my little speak pipe and I see he's installed it on his blog very quickly and he left me a lovely message. Now just listen to this message from our friend Bart Nash. Yeah, this is Bart Nash from BartNash.com, and I I found you through a YouTube video about Scoop It. Um, I, I have been trying to do some research on content curation, and I came across your YouTube video, and I was very interested in what you had to say. But what I'm wondering is how Scoop It works with my blog. Does that interact together? Is it something that goes on to my blog? I did not know notice anything in your uh, YouTube video that talked about that so so here's the instructions Bart when you're in scoop it once you've created your topics you'll find them at the bottom of the page so for example I'm going to go to my topic basic blog tips you'll see manage and export and on the export page it's just simply widgets and you can customize this widget to have the full image the image with description and I think it's best to have the image with description because sometimes the images don't really portray what the topic that you've scooped is about and you can change the number of posts that will show up in this widget. You can alter the title. You don't have to stick with the title that you've given your scoop it. You can change the speed that the items rotate and you can change that width. So if you want to embed this in your sidebar as a widget, or if you want to make it a whole page, you can have it as a whole page on your website. So once you've set up the options that you've decided to use, you just grab the code. And it's an iframe code. And as I mentioned, you can paste that onto your website. You can even paste that onto an app in Facebook or uh, there's just a whole sorts of things that you can do with this as well. And then you can see here at the bottom, you can grab the RSS feed stick that in I would actually burn that into feed burner I probably wouldn't use the raw RSS feed right from scoop it but if you want to you could and then here's the URL of your topic that you can share on all of your social networks the other thing you can do with this topic link is just use that as a page on your blog and you can do that on WordPress but I'm just going to show you how I've done it on my blogger blog and my blogger blog is basic podcasting tips. And so just to take up and create a page that goes to a link. And you, of course you can do that same thing on WordPress. And I just added a link to my podcasting scoops right at the top of the page, my menu options over on my blogger blog. And on Blogger, in order to add that to your menu, you just go into your dashboard, add a new page, and choose this option for web address. Go back over to Scoop It, grab that URL, paste it there, and you can just title the page. And you have a new page. On your WordPress blog, you would just go to Appearance and Menus, look for the option for Custom Links, and do the same thing. Paste the URL in here, give the item a name, 
I use the Add to Menu button. Okay, so I hope that answers your questions, Bart. Thanks so much for leaving me uh, the voicemail. You'll find that this little um, speak pipe widget comes in so handy. And um, I'm really glad that we had a chance to chat about Scoop It. And I will send this to you via Gmail. I'm glad you left your Gmail on the speak pipe because I can upload this video up into Google Drive and I'll share it with you over there. Hey, if you ever have a question for me, come on over to basicblogtips.com slash contact. Over on my contact page, you'll see the speak pipe widget over on the sidebar. All you have to do is click that. And if you have your mic hooked up, you can leave me a voicemail. And I really would like to answer any questions that you have about blogging, social media, podcasting, or YouTube. Well, speaking of YouTube, and since you're watching this video on YouTube, why don't you subscribe to my channel? I always have some great tips that I know you'll be able to take advantage of. And I'll talk to you guys soon. It's Eileen from basicblogtips.com. Peace.